seagoing hopper dredgers belong to the largest in the world. A launch is bringing the relief crew to the Hendrik Zahnen. For the crews, work on Richards Bay Harbour is not easy. Work continues around the clock. dredgers, Hendrik Zahnen and Geopotes 10 are working on the entrance channel. The soil is pumped into their own hoppers. A new round is being started and the suction pipes are lowered to the seabed. are controlled from the bridge, the nerve centre of the dredger. Numerous instruments give a continuous supply of information. has been filled with about 9,000 cubic metres of soil. The suction pipes are lifted and the ship takes course to the discharge area in the open sea. Soil which is not suitable for reuse is dumped far out at sea by the harbour dredgers. If necessary, Fine sand is then taken on for the return trip for use in the harbour. The dredgers and their supporting vessels use 350,000 litres of diesel fuel every 24 hours. area has been reached and the load can be discharged. The bottom dump openings are such that unloading only takes a few minutes. load, the ship rises out of the water. Day and night, the dredging fleet works towards the completion of the harbour. Other works on this enormous site are also being carried out at a fast rate. Excavation for the coal berths. Soil conditions in the lagoon vary considerably over the site. The lagoon bed comprises sedimentary rock into which deeper valleys have been carved by former rivers. These valleys have been filled with relatively young sediments.
In order to construct the key walls in open excavation, circular cofferdams were formed using hydraulic fill. Within the cofferdams, excavations in the upper section are formed with side slopes. This diagram shows the construction sequence. Excavation is taken down to minus 13 meters without supports. From here down to minus 25 meters, the sides are supported by braced steel sheet piling. In this way, the key walls can be constructed in the dry. The groundwater within the cofferdam was lowered using the vacuum method. Several rows of well points are jetted into the ground and the water is pumped off through them. The excavation is finished and construction has just started. Several designs were investigated for the construction of the key walls. The most economical solution was a reinforced concrete buttress wall. Already at the design stage, it was decided to carry out the construction in a phase cycle of operations. Excavation, supports, formwork, reinforcement and concrete follow each other in a predetermined rhythm.